uh, it's been hard. It's been rough. I, I had some, you know, like more complicated videos planned and I really hope to um, have some more time to continue filming, but I thought today, like, let's just do a casual <laughs> sit down video and, and talk a little bit about staying motivated because it's been hard. Um, like I said, for months, I wasn't doing anything tango related because I was just so sad and, you know, I, I think I should have shared it, um, looking back because I'm sure there are other people who are also feeling that way. Like, I feel like we sort of broke into two camps of like some, hi there, welcome back to my channel. I thought today we would do a casual video talking about staying motivated to dance when, you know, we're all still stuck inside. It's about a year into the global pandemic that we've been experiencing. And, you know, it's kind of difficult to want to stay motivated when we can't dance, we can't see each other. I mean, in New York City, I went from <laughs> dancing almost every single day to now, you know, just barely. So it's really demotivating. Um, and that's okay. I think it's you know, it's just a natural part of this process. We all haven't ever experienced anything like it. And um, I think that it's okay to acknowledge that we're um, in an unprecedented time and losing motivation is absolutely okay. Um, it's just part of <laughs> part of not having an outlet anymore that, that we once had. I mean, you know, to keep the fire alive in anything that we do, it's, you really have to be there and you really have to continue to do whatever it is you're doing. Um, so, you know, firstly, acknowledging that you're in a rut and it's okay. And, you know, Tango will be there for us again when we need it. I know when this is all over, but it's okay if you feel, don't feel the motivation. I mean, I know for months right at the beginning, I was like, almost in shock and sort of depressed almost. I, I didn't dance at all, didn't go near my shoes, didn't go near tango music probably for a couple of months. And it was the longest time that I have ever gone not dancing tango and really anything um, ever, <laughs> ever before. And you know, my feet were <laughs> really happy. I know this is horrible, but my feet were so happy just taking a little bit of a break and I was developing this sort of like fat pad something like a callus um right where my shoe is connecting and so you know it's okay to take a break from the things that we love of course we'll be more invigorated when they come back but also acknowledging that a little bit of rest is, is not a bad thing that, that definitely helped me get through um get through a lot of things um, finding motivation. I mean, right now, especially if you don't have a partner nearby, um, I've been focusing on trying to learn other things that are tango related. So aside from, you know, self-practice and, and working on my own technique, I've really been trying to delve into the music. There's so much amazing music as, as you all know. And, um, I've been trying to take this opportunity just to become more familiar with the songs. So, you know, putting a, some dedicated time aside to listen to music from particular orchestras and to connect the dots between the names of the songs and the actual songs. I've really been enjoying, you know, taking time to go, oh, that's by that composer. That's that's the name of that song. Um, so it's been a lot of fun to explore sort of other topics that are tango related, yet I was too busy to do um, before when, when we were more actively dancing. So that's been a lot of fun. There's so, so much, so much information online, which is really great because um, it's super easy to access. Um, and of course, if you want to take your classes, there are so many teachers that are offering online classes right now. I've been pleasantly surprised that um, Tango uh, Zoom Tango classes have been working out better than I thought they would. I was super late to the game because it's like, you can't dance tango uh, over, <laughs> over, um, a computer, but boy, was I wrong. It was actually much easier to be able to see um, my students than I thought it would be, and I could actually give them pretty good direction. It's not the same as being in person and being able to move with them, but 
it's actually worked out much better. So if you've been hesitant to take an online tango class, I, did, I say definitely go for it because um, you'll get different types of things out of it, but it's still a very interesting um, and helpful experience I have found. Other things I'm doing to stay positive, you know, really, as I put out tango, um, tango related work and content, uh, just liking and sharing and supporting other creators in the space. That's super helpful to um, get our information out. It doesn't cost anything to like a post or to leave a comment. And every engagement is so, so, so helpful in order to reach more people. Um, it's it's crazy how much one little comment can lighten up all of our days that, you know, it's just, it feels incredible to know that our work is actually helping someone. Um, so I really appreciate every time somebody leaves a kind comment, it's really motivating to continue to continue on. Um, I've also, okay, so I'm dressed up today. I have also been trying my best to not be a little couch potato all day because if I'm working from home, I want to be comfortable. <laughs> Last night, I put on jeans for probably the first time in months because um, the wall that I teach my, my Zoom classes on, it's super dark wood. Um, so I always have to, I have like two outfits that are light because as a New Yorker, everything I wear is black. So I put on jeans for the first time in months. And I remembered why, because it was so uncomfortable. Skinny jeans just are not it. And, um, but you know, it like perked me up. I was like, wow, <laughs> jeans, let's go. Um, and you know, just wearing something nice makes you feel so much better about yourself. And so I've been staring lovingly at my tango clothes, but you know, putting on a nice outfit, putting on your heels, putting on your proper shoes, instead of just trying to practice in socks, these little things can help us feel more motivated and feel beautiful and ready um, ready to go. And so, yeah, I've really been trying to, even if I'm home, just wearing, wearing something nice that makes me feel good because I mean, I love my leggings, but there's something about having on a special outfit that gives you the little oomph, oomph to want to, you know, mix things up, get those shoes on, put on some music. And, um, yeah, I love just, I don't know why, but I usually put on tango music when I'm cleaning and so I'm kind of dancing as I'm cleaning. Um, but putting on music, not even with the intention of dancing, but just, you know, to keep that love alive um, in the day-to-day -day activities that we do, that's also great. Um, like I said in the beginning, I really could not listen to tango music because I was so sad to hear it and know that I couldn't dance, but it's like slowly gotten better. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but now I feel like I could listen to tango music again and it makes me happy because I think I'm seeing sort of the way that everything's progressing that I'll possibly see my tango friends soon so now tango music is making me feel more joyous than depressed which is really good so you know putting on some music getting dressed up that definitely helps um and something else I've been also trying to do is stay in touch with my friends all around the world I am so so lucky to have made amazing, amazing friendships with people. And, um, you know, we're all spread out, but we all have the internet. And so making sure that I'm catching up with these friends, even just to say hi, because I feel so, so guilty of this. I like, think of my friends, but I don't say anything. I don't actually say like, hey, how, how's it going? But, you know, I'll do something that will remind me of someone or I read something that reminds me of someone and I'll just think about it and like kind of say hi in my head. So I have a lot of friends like in my heart, but I'm trying to make a more explicit effort to actually reach out to them and you know just check in on them everybody's been going through a really rough time and so checking in on our friends all over the world is just a great way to foster and maintain those relationships and um you know nurture them because i don't know when we'll see everyone next and luckily we have these tools that allow us to share and to communicate so you know duh it's been hard it's been rough I, I had some, you know, like more complicated videos planned and I really hope to um, have some more time to continue filming, but I thought today, like, let's just do a casual <laughs> sit down video and, and talk a little bit about staying motivated because it's been hard. Um, like I said, for months, I wasn't doing anything tango related because I was just so sad and, you know, I... 
I think I should have shared it um, looking back because I'm sure there are other people who are also feeling that way. Like, I feel like we sort of broke into two camps of like some people love tango. We're posting about tango and how much they missed it. And then the other half of us were sort of falling into this like quiet rut, not looking at anything tango related because it just makes us too sad. Um, but however you're coping, there's no right or wrong way. And so if you are in my camp that you couldn't face anything tango related for a while, um, just know it's it's going to get better. We're going to see each other um, sometime soon and hopefully be happy and healthier than before. And, you know, this is a time to reprioritize what's important to us. And I really think that um, this has made me extra grateful for those relationships that I've had. Um, being able to talk to my tango friends, especially around the world, like I said, has uh, really positively impacted my life and reduced the feeling of isolation. And I'm really grateful for that. And um, I, I just can't wait to see everyone. So yeah, thanks for sticking around with me and chatting with me today. Um, or listening to me just ramble on either way. So glad you stuck through. Um, Leave a comment down below if there's anything that's been helping you cope with this very prolonged uh, isolation and vacation away from Tango. Um, I would love to know what you've been doing. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.